Hi everyone, I'm Sadrine, this is Merrick. Hello. And in this video, we're going to break down the preview for next week's episode of Game of Thrones, Battle of the Bastards. If you haven't seen it, we put the link in the description below. Before we get into the actual footage for next week's episode, I did want to mention that the director for the episode is Miguel Sapochnik, who directed two episodes last season, The Gift and Hard Home, mm -hmm. AKA Jon Snow versus the White Walker yeah. or Jon Snow versus the Night King. Come on, me, me crow. And I also think this episode will be similar to the Watchers on the Wall episode of season four, where we spend the whole time in the episode at the battle at Castle Black. And also one of the executive producers said that this was gonna be one of the biggest battle of Game of Thrones. So get ready. Ooh. Cause Snowball is coming. <laughs> Let's jump into the footage. The preview starts with Jon saying that he has won battles with greater odds. He also has fought against worse than Ramsay Bolton. And I'm like, yeah, he has. He fought the White Walkers. He didn't win though. He killed one. That's not winning. That's true. He didn't win. But he I'm retreated. Saying, I'm saying he, he survived the White Walkers. I know, Walkers. but here's the thing. I think he's wrong, right? And I think that Sansa is saying, but you don't know him. And I think she's 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 on the right track here because fighting a White Walker and fighting Ramsay Bolton is completely different. White Walkers, if anything, and this is something you brought up in the past, are really terrible fighters. In the sense that they think they're invincible and they act like they're invincible, so they just keep marching on. They're just overwhelming and they have numbers against them and they know they can barely be killed by the weapons of man, so they're not really afraid. Ramsey, on the other hand, he is a human being. He's a cunning little And he's really he? cunning. He will use every trick and tactic to try and overcome his yeah. enemy and he's really not to be trifled with. So in a way, Ramsey is a much more dangerous opponent, although he's also as, you know, killable. Based on the multiple smirks, because it was Smirk City with Ramsey in this trailer, yeah. he was very smirky. He's you very can tell confident. he's gonna be doing some crazy shit. And then you have an interesting uh, line by John who says, thousands of men don't have to die, only one of us. Could he be trying to negotiate or challenge Ramsey to like some sort of duel or being like, before we start? How about we just battle it out, you know? Yeah, let's, exactly. Let's just not let's let's not kill all these people for uh, yeah. For just, no, it's it's you know. it sounds like John too, right? Yeah. It could potentially end up being a fight between Ramsey and John. Yeah. And that ends the After entire the fight. Battle, yeah. But <laughs> as we can tell, no, the battle is happening, right? Fights are gonna happen. No way John is gonna get out of it. And actually, John doesn't want to get out of it. He even tells Melisandre that if he falls, he wants to stay dead. Yeah. He doesn't want to come back. That's saying something, right? I think Jon Snow is tired. I feel like he's done the, all the good he can do. I mean, the first time it, it was betrayed and you know, he didn't really have a choice in the matter. I think he's at that point of like, I'm done. If this is the end, then let it be the end. There's a scene with Jon Snow that intrigues me a little bit where we see him a couple of times in the trailer looking kind of gloomy, you know, I mean, he always kind of looks gloomy, you know, and, but it doesn't, I don't know if it's the angle of the camera or how it's shot, but it looks like he's alone and there's no one around him really. Is it connected to the only one of us has to, has to die dialogue that we get in this episode? I, I'm not really sure. I mean, do you guys have any thought on, on what that could be? Is, yeah. it, is he just like preparing for the battle and just kind of taking that long, like, okay, I guess we have to go type of thing or, or what's going on there? One of the things I'm wondering about in this battle with Melisandre into the fold and the pos potential possibility that Jon has some warging capabilities lying in deep somewhere because maybe he's changed after coming back. I'm just saying, is magic going to play a role in this final battle? I don't think so because, because Melisandre was with the battle of Stannis and if she could do anything, she would have done something then. Also, I think they've never brought up the fact that Jon has any warring abilities. I think I think they, he might have had some in the book, but they've never actually established that in the show. So it would be kind of weird that he's like, oh, I can warg now. I mean, it could be a twist, but I, I just don't, it's just, you don't, just don't you, So you don't think magic is gonna play a role into this at all? I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I think, no, <laughs> I'm gonna say no. I what think do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you think magic battle? is gonna play a role into it at all? in this battle? Or is this gonna be army against army? I think it's straight blade, up. Blade against yeah. blade. We also get a scene of Davos 
looking down at a pile of wood. It looks like maybe a grave or something and he's maybe mourning. Uh, that's a scene we had seen in the season six trailer for the season and we we're all wondering what that was about. Now it looks like behind there's a uh, fire and there's smoke. So that tells me that it's during the battle or, or after. after the battle. What's going on there? I'm thinking this before. I and, I, and, well, I, and what is he doing? I don't know. I, there are two possibilities. None of them are really great, but the, those are the possibilities I'm thinking of. He's either burying Shireen and uh, or, and or <laughs> Stannis. I, I know, I or know. Or just one final goodbye, like it's, before it's going possible. to battle. It's possible. Yeah. Uh, I guess he hasn't really had the time to say goodbye. Yeah, it's very possible. So we don't know. Uh, yeah, it just it just it doesn't look like there's like fire behind. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, yeah, think what do you guys think? I'm not it's sure about during that. During the one. battle? Is it before? Is, it... is he is it like one of the fallen ones that he's saying goodbye to? And the reason why I think it's not uh, before the it's it's the not after the battle because I don't think that was his. Oh mistake. well, yeah, that leads us to <laughs> who's gonna die in this battle. In this battle, yes. So you think Davos is so, not making So yes, for out. sure, Davos is a goner. I hate to say it because I love that character. By the way, I think he's. I don't know. Awesome. I'm, I'm I'm thinking he's gonna make it. Mm -mm. I'm rooting for him. Nope. Wrap him up. I do think Tormund might die, and yeah. I love Tormund. I just realized. What about Brienne? Or maybe she Trian? saves him. Trian. Trian. I don't know if she saves uh, him. Uh, no, I, I just, this is just wishful thinking right there. One, one. Oh yeah, he's gone. I think he's gonna survive. He's gone. He survived everything up until now. He's a giant, he's a survivor. He will make it, he has to. I mean, I to be want, fair, I want everyone to survive, so. I want him to survive, but I don't think he is. He looks like literally overrun by people. He has arrows in his back. He's just- But he's a giant, he can make it. Look, okay, he can make it. Okay, okay, I don't think he's gonna make it. You think he's gonna make it? We don't know, more importantly. Ramsey. Ramsey's a goner. I just, here's the thing. You think he is? No, he's a goner. He's a goner, but here's I, the thing. How is he gonna go? That's the question. Yeah. Is he gonna be one of those epic deaths where we're like, yes! Right? Or just, or is it gonna be like mundane, stabbed in the back or something like that? And, yeah. I mean, whichever way, I think I'll be excited. But, no, but I want, um, oh, I want oh. him to suffer. What do you guys think about who, about our predictions yeah. on a who's gonna die? Any theories on who's gonna die? Yeah, and... any theories, like, comment below, let us know. What about Rickon? Oh, I forgot about Rickon! No. <laughs> you know what? Rickon's gonna make it. I feel like he's gonna make he's gonna, it just because... He had, yeah. like, one scene. <laughs> like, one scene. Well, like, maybe the second scene is him dying. No, no, no. He, Rickon's gonna that's, make that's... it. It's a Stark. We don't just kill Starks like that, all right? We give them more oh, time. more scene. Well, more scene. Like, more... I don't know, though. Do you? I don't know. And I think we didn't talk about the... Also, another important question. Who's gonna win? Jon is gonna Jon win. Jon is gonna right? win. Okay. I don't... Do you think this Do you think Game of Thrones is about Ramsay making it? I think it's how they get regain Winterfell. That's true. It's really the question. Who, who's gonna die when they regain? Uh, yeah, yeah, Winterfell. exactly. That's really where we're going with this. So that's a preview, but we want to end with the scenes from the season six trailer that we haven't seen yet. Mm -hmm. Number one, which I think might be relevant in this episode, is Littlefinger in the snow in the woods. We know that Sansa wrote to him to, to, to ask ago, yeah. for 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 help, and I think actually someone out there did like a screenshot and zoomed in and, and figured out that she was, it was pretty much for sure Littlefinger that she was reaching out to. So there is a scene where you see him and he's meeting someone and uh, that someone probably is Sansa. I think him being there might make the difference as to whether they win or not. They might, it might be like a Lord of the Rings type of thing where you're like, we're gonna lose. And then Gandalf with his army arrives to save the day. So it's gonna be Littlefinger with the veil. Littlefinger, Littlefinger is Gandalf. That's basically <laughs> yeah. where we're going with well, this. <laughs> then we got Walter Frey celebrating with his sons, probably celebrating the, the fact that they've River. gotten River and back. So episode 10 is my guess, cause I mean, this episode is just a battle. Mm -hmm. so. And the Sons of the Harpy, which we think is going to be... Episode 10 to, as yeah, well. Yeah, episode 10, Daenerys reclaiming Marine and let's kill him once and for all. Anyways, that's what we thought of this trailer. What did you think of the trailer? Is there anything that we missed that you want to talk about? Comment below, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our Game of Thrones videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.